So in this series of tutorials, it's called Securing the Router. We're going to look at securing line console zero, which is the local access to the router. So we have a basic setup of a laptop, a router, a switch, and a PC. We're going to first start by connecting the cables. So we're going to use a rollover cable, connect the laptop to the RS232 port, to the console port of the router. Then we're going to take a copper straight through cable connect to the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and we're going to connect it to a fast ethernet port of the switch and we're going to do the same take a straight through copper cable and connect to the fast ethernet port of the switch to the PC next we want to give the PC a static IP of this here that we set so we go to the desktop we give a uh, And you get a gateway of dot one dot one close that off and we're going to access the router through the line console port via the laptop and we're going to configure the fa0 slash zero port so we go to the laptop go to the terminal okay let me know we're going to enter enable for privilege exact mode Configure terminal to enter global configuration mode. We're going to first set a host name to the router. In this case, I'll do it Roger, maybe R0. All right, so the host name set, we're going to want to configure the FA0 slash 0 port. So we go into the interface, FA0 slash 0. And we're going to assign an IP address, which is the gateway. Just 192.168 subnet mass. Then we're going to run a no shot to bring up line protocol. And we're going to exit, exit again. And I'm going to do a copy, run start to save the configurations. I'm going to do a show run. Just to show what we're going to be setting up. We're going to be doing for this tutorial, we're going to be doing the line console zero. And for the second tutorial, we'll be doing the line VTY from zero to four. So next we want to enter back to global configuration mode. So conf T, we are setting up the line console. So we end up the command, sorry, line console zero. And we're going to be setting a password, which for this tutorial, we're going to be setting just a basic generic, generic password for demonstration purposes. So we're going to be setting Cisco in this case, and we're going to set login, which will allow option for the user to log in via the console port. Now if you want to end that, you want to do a copy run start again to save the configurations one more time. Let's do a show run to show that the line console zero has been assigned access to login here and ha it has been assigned a password of Cisco. So to demonstrate the login, we want to reload the router and it should come up with a access verification asking for the user to enter the password which is cisco and there we have it we are now into the console zero port of the router we have access we have gained access via a simple generic password cisco so for the next tutorial we're going to be looking at the securing the line which is the remote access lines the line vty zero to four lines